Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, how are you? I hope you guys in a good condition today Well, today I'm so happy because finally I can give this video for you regarding to the distance learning And we know sometimes distance learning could be so hard for us because it gives us many challenges like the connection of internet or the media or the gadget or the Wi-Fi and anything else That's why I think this video could be so useful for you but before we start to our subject, let's take a look to the bumper. Okay, our title today is Expressions of Offering Help. We are a social being, we must know how to be a good people. And there are so many ways to be a good people. One of them is helping each other. Okay, now look at this guy. Consider he is your friend and he got an accident and for sure he is in need. Okay, my question is, what will you do if your friend got an accident? Will you help him or will you let him be? And the second question is, what are you going to say to offer your help for him? If you really really want to help him, you can start by saying, Hello friend. What's the matter with you? Do you need my favor? That's the example. Here we have hadis, Khairun nasi ahsanhum khulukon wa angfahum linnas. This hadith taught us to have good morals and to help each other because one of the characteristics of Muslims is having good moral and always help each other. Here is what we will we learn in this chapter. The first is expressions, how to express offering help. And the second is accepting, how to express accepting a help. And the third is how to express rejecting a help. And the last is making requests, how to express making requests. Okay, here is the things, expressions to offer help. The first is, can I get you some coffee? Okay, um, this is the simple way. You can start by saying, can I blah, 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 and you can adjust with your situations. And the second one is, shall I help you with your project? Okay, shall is very formal. So we, we use shall when we want to talk with elder or with parents. And the third, would you like to drink some coffee? Would you like to? It's very polite. So this, uh, I suggest you to use this uh, press when we want to offer your help. And the fourth is, do you want me to have a look? This is another example, the expressions of offering help. And the next is, I would be glad to help. Okay, when you say, I would, I would be glad to help, when you, when you see people or when you see your friend looks like very, very in need, or you really, really believe that he is in need. Okay, so you can say, I would be glad to help. And... The last is, may I help you? Okay, this is the simple way to for to offer help. Okay, there is something you need to know in expressions to offer help. That is, when you express your offering help using can I or shall I, remember that they both always followed by verb without to. For example, like, can I get you some tea or shall I call the police for you? That's the example of using can I or shall I. This is just for your information. Okay, let's put ourselves as if we are in need. Okay, for the example, when you are eating in the kitchen and your friend comes to you and offers you to get you some drink, you can say, yes, please, I would love to. Okay, that's if you think that his help is really, really helpful for you. Or another example, like when you are cleaning your class and your friend offers his help, Hi brother, do you need my help? Okay, and if you think that his help is very useful, you can say if you wouldn't mind. Or in Bahasa is, jika kamu tidak keberatan. Okay, and the third one is, thank you, that would be great. Okay, this is a simple way to, uh, to accept his help. Okay, thank you, that would be great. Okay, but in other side, what if you want to reject the offer of your friend? You can say, it's okay, I can do it myself. Okay. And in other words is, don't worry, I will do it. Or the simple way is, no, thank you. Okay. 
The next is making request. In case you need the help from the people or from your friend, you can say, can you help me? Okay, this is the simple way. Can you help me? And the next is, you can say, could I ask for your help? Okay, uh, I will say that the difference is between can and could is, could is very polite and can is, can is normal but not really polite. Okay, so we use could, could when we, when we ask a help from big brother or from the parents or from the, the older. Okay, and the next is, could you get it for me? There's another example of making request and you can adjust with your situation. Okay. And the next is, do you mind to turn on the lamp? If you think, if you want to sleep and you are on the bed and you feel so lazy to get up and you can ask to your friend by saying, do you mind to turn on the lamp? And the last is, would you mind if you take my book? Of course, this is just the example and the situations could be so different regarding to your situation and you can adjust it. If I have said that using code gives more polite, to ask a request from the people, there is a way how to make it more polite using this pattern, excuse me plus expressions plus please. How is the example? Here we are. The example is, excuse me, could you help me please? Look at this, look at to this sentence where we use could is polite and we add by using excuse me plus please. It means this is very, very polite and I suggest you to using this pattern when you ask for help and then the another the, the other example is excuse me do you mind to throw my rubbish please okay uh, this is another example of using excuse me plus expressions plus please okay this is more polite request okay and i think you need to know this okay i have a dialogue for you let me read it anang do you have something to drink i'm worn out and thirsty bambang i have lots of drink what do you want Anang, soda, do you have soda? Bambang say, I have one on the fridge. Do you want me to get it for you? Anang, yes, please. Okay, so this is just for information. Look at the word of worn out. Uh, do you know what is the meaning of worn out? Worn out is another words to express you are very, very tired. Okay, you, when you are very, very tired, um, you can say I'm worn out. Okay, one is, is another word from um, very tired. Okay, this is uh, information for you. Maybe new words or new vocabulary for you. Okay. All right. That's all about the expressions of offering help. And now uh, the practice session. And I think I will give my assignment on the Google Meet. So see you on the Google Meet. I hope by seeing this. Uh, by watching this video, you can understand about how to express offering help and I hope and hopefully this is useful for you Okay, thank you for watching this video. See you on the Google Meet Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh